Hello, 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 hello. Um, today I will be uh, building uh, a couple of gateways. Uh, this thing, this is a teleport device of some sort. And you got two versions you can make. Uh, I think those are aesthetics, but I'm not really sure if one is begin and another is destination. Because I would uh, assume they are a two-way portal and not just the one way. So I think this is uh, just for the aesthetics. So that's fine. Oh, and you build it by uh, stone bricks, uh, some stone stairs, stone brick stairs. This is uh, just four stone bricks and a keystone receptacle. And the keystone receptacle is so you can uh, uh, actually um, decide which way you want to go, because um, the keystone receptacle is well. You, this is how you make it, and so uh, Ender Essence uh, is something you can make with. Uh, the essence refinery which I've built and have done so I have uh, the items I need and um, these are they so this is a keystone which you enter into the keystone receptacle which is this thing and then you get a specific uh, combination of uh, items well of, of runes pretty much Shift right click if I don't mistakenly remember. Oh, perhaps you can't change it after it has remembered it. Well, that's fine, at least uh, it's a red one, and I've got another red one here. So, when I build the thing, I'll put in a red one, and then uh, using the red one opens the portal because otherwise it's locked. Uh, which in a single player world isn't all that uh, relevant but the locking mechanism can also just be used to go from red to red and then from blue to blue and then from red blue to red blue etc etc so you can make an entire uh, uh, linked uh, section of portals which uh, if I uh, I'm not mistaken will be much better than a single f uh, entirely uh, insane amount of uh, distance to travel with a single portal because that will take a lot of uh, mana or power essence whatever and I am not sure how far this can go so I just built it here and I've built uh, some extra light uh, portals and this is the uh, refinery for uh, essences and I've uh, already uh, did that this is uh, well diamond on top and blocks of uh, wood planks uh, in the bottom row and uh, side and then well I think some arcane ash in the middle but it doesn't show that in the arcane companion so that's a bit bad uh, let's see where is it oh that's the keystone essence refiner yeah there should be a pattern here but there isn't but oh well, the wiki online has it, so that uh, is fine. But I'll uh, go and uh, travel a thousand blocks that way, and uh, well, build the other portal right there, and see if it uh, makes it. Because I've brought a mana battery, which has well a tiny bit of mana, uh, and I'm not sure if that will work. So perhaps I should actually also bring the enough to make. Uh, one of these, the light portals, because the well, the gateway down below is of course uh, powered by light portals, and the mana battery has a neutral uh, essence instead of light essence. So I'm not sure if that will uh, well be a problem, because then they have different sorts of powering, and well, that shouldn't be a problem, but you never know. So. Just to be sure, uh, on the safe side, I'll also bring enough for a light portal or a, yeah, well, nexus, gateway, whatever. The thing that gets you energy. And I should have enough, yes. So, four of these, eight of these, and then, well, some, uh, me, 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 white chalk, and we need some. A bit of clay and a flint and a paper and a vintium dust. 
So that means we've got everything we need to well, either just make it work uh, with uh, the mana battery or well to build uh, a new uh, light portal nexus thingy. Wait, I didn't remember it correctly. Hmm. Items. Chalk. White chalk. Oh, it's arcane ash. It's not Fintian dust. Oh well. But I'll go make that and walk a thousand block that way. And I'll be back there. So uh, I'll build it over there somewhere uh, somewhat nice. And we'll see if it works. So, later. X217. And... Hmm, we ran into a little bit of a snag because, well, it's not 1217 uh, yet on the X variable, but there's a large body of water around here, so I guess I'll make it on the edge right there. And, well, it won't be a thousand blocks anyway because uh, the actual portal is a bit closer to uh, this location than where I counted from. So that will be within one kilometer, according to Minecraft uh, building rules or ge geometry, whatever. And um, no idea how much uh, energy that will cost, but well, build it right at the edge, and maybe put out some torches. So here should be good and building it isn't all that difficult. So I'll build uh, uh, this one. It is uh, four stone bricks on both sides and then uh, uh, one uh, chiseled stone brick in, in the center and uh, well to besides that here is uh, four stone uh, brick stairs and then stone brick stone so build four build four one one and the chisel stone brick first well I guess I'll just do it right here <laughs> I didn't bring the chiseled stone brick well I guess I'll have to make a crafting table well that's fine okay I'll go do that and be back <laughs> momentarily Oh well, while I'm waiting for this to uh, smelt some uh, stone, so I can make uh, the stone brick and then the chisel stone brick, perhaps um, setting up the light nexus already would be a good idea. So I uh, went to three and then blam blam. That's already uh, the right size, so that's nice. Oh, it's actually one too many. <laughs> well, okay. And you can apparently also make them on sand, which suggests that the material is totally irrelevant. Well. Of course, it doesn't gather anything at night, so this is just well useful to already have. But seeing this, that stone is almost done, and I misclick like boss. Yes, I just want it at the edge. I don't want it any further. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, and what I've noticed is that 
The frost doesn't do as much damage anymore, seeing as I've been using fire. Maybe my frost affinity that made me use, well, frost uh, a lot of times and then doing a whole lot of damage with it is now somewhat uh, returned to normal or something, because the fire one doesn't really do extra damage. But that will be uh, an interesting mechanic, so if you always use frost then it's good, but then you get to a frost immune character and you're screwed. Maybe. Good work like that. So, one, two, three, four. This should be ready now. Maybe I made too much. Well, who cares? My stairs. Come on. Mm. Ah, it does work. Uh. They sure are tracking me from a nice distance. Well, my aiming with the blocks today is less than optimal. So, and I think those two need still some chiseled blocks. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. <laughs> And then the keystone receptacle, and then shift and right click to open it, and you see this makes the inventory look strange, but oh, okay. And then I've entered the prepared keystone with uh, the red uh, rune inside, which is the same as the one at my base. And does it just immediately work? It has no power. And this has no power yet, I guess. And this one. Yeah, zero. So I have to wait till day and then uh, see if this gets powered up and if it works. So I'll. Uh, just shoot some zombies and I'll be back uh, during the morning. Okay, later. Well, while I'm waiting, let's test out the mana battery and see if it has enough energy. And what happens if this dark blue energy is not enough and then in the morning there will be light blue energy. Does that combine or doesn't that combine? Well, let's see. Well, 5,000 or 6,000, still at 0%. <laughs> no idea what the maximum is for this one. Okay, I'll uh, let it finish uh, loading the portal and be back once it's uh, completely drained the mana battery. Alrighty, it's uh, turning morning. The mana battery is empty. This is 2%, so let's see if it does. It works. Well, it opens the portal. 
And yes, yeah, some back at my base. Now let's see if it works the other way around. Well, that works nice. Now let's see how much m magic it took or energy. Well, not a lot at all. Still has 5k. Oh, and this mana battery is now pulling from the light nexus and then sending it to the gateway. And seeing how this is dark blue energy and on my base it's uh, the light blue one, like uh, this. Or teal, if you prefer. That seems to not be a problem at all. So, powered is powered. And now I have a portal to, uh, well, almost a uh, thousand blocks. Let's see. It's... Uh, 11.20, let's say. And this is 2.46. So 11.20 minus 2.46 is uh, well, 9.20, uh, 8.80, uh, 8.75 or 4 or something. 74 and a half. Well, about 850 blocks and didn't really cost all that much uh, magic essence. So this will be a, definitely a viable way of getting around the large distances quickly because I pretty much now only have to build another portal on that other side and bring a boat and go a thousand blocks again and well do the same thing over there to well, get in a couple of thousands of blocks very easily and with these light portals or uh, next side whatever. Uh, you can uh, pretty much uh, keep them powered at all times. And it's good to know that with the mana battery next to a light nexus you get uh, the raw instead of the light essence. So, well, a very informative day today and I'll see you uh, next time. Later!